Okay, I thought I'd uh, do a quick video on the current status or status of my fish tank. I This is my 120 gallon um, reef ready system that I had set up um, the year before last and some of last year and I'd like to clean it up. I purchased it, it was just a couple years old from the guy I got it from and um, you can see that uh, the silicone leaves a lot to be desired. I don't know if that's coming through but yeah it's real chunky there. Bits and pieces are coming off so I'd like to reseal it right quick and um, the coral line in the back I've never seen um, this thing clean. I just really you know I bought the tank, uh, got a ripping deal on it, was able to sell equipment that he gave me in the deal which pretty much funded the whole tank but um I want to take that uh, all those uh, the coralline algae off the back. It's basically just calcium deposits now, and I've even got some on the glass itself. You can see there, and in this spray bottle, I have 100% pure muriatic acid. I did not dilute it, and I don't know if it comes out or not, but you can see there's a test spray on uh, on the overflow box right here. You can see that test spray. And the actual white that's left behind is from this bottle here, which I have, uh, it's probably five parts to one of baking soda and just regular water, just tap water. Um, I'm going to turn the lights on here to show a little bit better. Um, so today I'm going to try to clean off as much of that as possible. It's real thick and um, the glass, clean it off, redo all the silicone um, on the inside of the tank. It's just really, um, it's kind of, it kind of gets on my nerves to see that. Um, OCD, if you will, not, you know, not really, but I'm pretty um, picky about how the tank looks and I just want to clean up all the silicone and everything I can. Um, I did build a really quick stand for it. I was using a metal stand before, but I wasn't happy with how um, it was built. And um, the guy I had built it, he was um, he was handicapped, so I didn't want to, you know, be that guy. So <laughs> I just basically stored it and uh, probably give it away to somebody who might want it um, for a shallow 120 or something. Or, I mean, a shallow um, tank or. Uh, really, it's just a 4 by 2 stand, but I built that. I'll probably skin it later. My sump's under there. And um, over here, I'm just kind of building some other things that I have in mind. A little storage, a couple of lights. Uh, my buddy, Hui, gave me this uh, ATI 8-bulb fixture. The bulbs are like 8 months old, but uh, the whole fixture is probably about 8 months old. And uh, he sold it to me for a really great deal. Um, as he usually does. He, he's a really great guy. Um, so I'm going to take that all off and uh, I'm going to just pretty much douse this thing with acid. More to follow. Okay, so here it is after the first spray down. You can see uh, a lot of it is already melted off of there. Um, I used... Oh, I don't even know how much that is, but... I have everything hooked up underneath too, just in case the acid hits the overflow. That way to go down there and I'll leak test everything when I'm done resealing. And that'll definitely neutralize it. I may throw a little baking soda in the water itself. But I sprayed up here, back there, it's all really coming off nicely. V barely any work. It's only been uh, 10 minutes, maybe. No, well, I mean, since I started spraying. So that's only been soaking for probably five minutes if that and uh, of course I have a fan blowing in the window pardon the mess in the room this is a spare room for that we're turning into a fish room so that's uh, all coming off nicely uh, I have my baking soda ready to go just in case of emergencies and um, what else oh here's the mask I was wearing you don't really need a heavy mask I just bought one of these it's uh, a little bit better than just a paper mask really and uh, you don't need anything too heavy um, just to spray this out uh, I mean I'm not wearing one now 
or I'm not wearing it now, and uh, it's uh, you can be around it. I, I'm used to using this chemical a lot uh, with the swimming pool that uh, that I used to maintain uh, my other house. So um, also I have gloves just in case, but I didn't really with the. It's a really good spray bottle, that Zep spray bottle. I think I got it at Lowe's, so it uh, it held up pretty nicely. I had no back splatter. And just went, you know, careful yet generous. And uh, let's do it a few more times and see how it goes. Okay, <clears throat> so um, it's been about half an hour, and I just kind of let the acid do its job. And as you can see, the back glass is almost completely clean. Uh, I just have like a film behind there, like a tint film. So it's not the greatest. I'll probably straighten it out a little bit, but use the same thing. But you can see the little wrinkles in there um, from the film. Uh, just like a it's that sticky, static type film. Um, but it's still there on the overflow. But this actually looks better than it did when I got the tank um, a couple years ago now. But um, you can see it does its job really well. I'm going to um, use that bucket of water, just regular water. And I'm going to use that, which has uh, baking soda in it, and spray the inside to neutralize the acid. And I have gloves on my hands, um, just mainly because it'll uh, bite me, you know, the acid gets real crazy. But here's what it looks like when you spray the acid, or when you neutralize the acid. Shake it up a little. Just got to wait for it to get through the nozzle here oh uh, there we go you can see it starts to get really white and uh, I'm just gonna shoot the whole thing just to neutralize the acid and uh, then I'm going to get in there and clean that out and then might have to do another treatment to get the rest of it off. So, um, so far, you know, um, time-wise, I probably put 15 minutes into this tank so far, but uh, pretty, pretty happy with how it's turning out and uh, more to come here soon. Okay, so um, here it is. I just wiped it down with just regular water. And the glass is pretty much completely clean. Um, just have some spots here left on the overflow and this crud at the bottom. Uh, I'll sprinkle baking soda over the top of it just to further neutralize it, mix it up a little, and then I'm just gonna suck it out with my shop vac. Um, a couple more times and I'd imagine it'll look really cleaned up back there, which is kind of the goal. Uh, the front glass is dirty, but uh, Ultimately, you can kind of see how quick muriatic acid works over vinegar. Um, vinegar works really well, but uh, when you have a 120 gallon tank that weighs well over 400 pounds, um, muriatic acid is the way to go. Um, that way you don't have to bother anybody on a weeknight to come over and give you a hand. Just spray it on there and get it done. and. You can kind of see here, I'd started to go ahead and peel away at the, the silicone. Um, that's where I'll reseal everything along these seams. But uh, I'll go ahead and clean this up and spray it again and see where we are from there. That's it. Okay, my phone died and I was videotaping the last one and couldn't really show it. But... Um, <clears throat> Here's where um, the evening's work has gotten me. All the coral line has been removed. Um, that is dry. And those little bubbly things you see is actually my background. I don't know if you can see that in here. But um, like I said earlier, it's a static background. So, <clears throat> excuse me. It uh, doesn't look cool. Uh, when it's filled with water, you don't really notice it. But all the coral line came off um, easily too. It made it um, the acid made uh, really little work of it. Minimal scrubbing. Uh, the coral line that was sticking, I just kind of popped it with a putty knife and sprayed it some more, and just used a uh, scouring pad, uh, one of those green ones. But uh, there it is, and uh, right now 
You can see the old silicone work here. That silicone looks pretty rough. So here's the other side. So I'm removing all the silicone now to reseal the tank. And um, that's really about it. Not really much more to report. It looks almost new. And uh, looking forward to filling it up. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is the finale after using the acid. 100% uh, pure muriatic acid. Did not dilute it. Sprayed it on there and the majority of the work was done uh, with the first spraying. I uh, found that I didn't really need to neutralize it that much, but I did just to be safe. Every time I went in and cleaned it out, I uh, used my shop vac. Pardon the mess, I'm still, I can't really see that. Um, pardon the mess, I'm turning this into a fish room, so. But uh, anyway, um, there it is. It, the acid made little work of it. Uh, did minimal scrubbing. Popped, had to pop some of the coral line um, because it was clinging pretty tight, so I just popped it with a uh, either a screwdriver or um, a putty knife. Just cracked it enough to where it would just come right off. Uh, really easy to do. Um, I, my last video I did, the lighting was really poor. didn't show that work, but um, you can see that uh, the overflow is very clean. All that's just debris from scraping silicone now, so it just looks like there's coralline, but it's all off. And the next step now is, um, not sure if you can see this, but this silicone here will be removed. And here's the other side. Kind of, I'm cleaning it up well right now. It's really easy to do. You just take it off, and then I have some acetone there that I use in paper towels just to wipe it out and. You get, you get this gunk here at the bottom, and then I'll just vacuum that out with my shop vac as well. But, um, honestly, it's, uh, the glass is crystal clear, and it's really nice to be able to see through there and see a clean background. Just kind of gives it a fresh new look. So, that's all for now. Thanks.